is my new pike place that I completely redid that I got on clearance from Wig Studio One. I don't know what happened to this wig. The lace front was perfect. There's adequate hair for sure. The crisscross part was still in, but the ends were like a little on the frizzy side. I don't understand. It was crazy. So what I did was, I redid the entire wig from the ground up. Yes, I did. It wasn't flowing. You see, like now it's flowing. Now there's no frizz. Okay, it took me like three hours and two different days because I couldn't do it all at once. So I realized something. Sometimes you have to do this in stages so you don't get burnt out. I have to change lanes here. This was labor intensive. Number one, I had to steam the whole thing. The whole thing. After I steamed the entire wig, it still looks like it had some very slight frizz. It just reminded me of cotton candy. And I'm not gonna wear cotton candy on my head. So I then had to flat iron the entire wig as well. Especially the ends. So like I kind of noticed this wig in general seems more like on the frizzy side. Like it's not like my Delgona. Alone at last by the park. Finally. Well, get a load of this Butterbeer Blonde in Pike Place Heat Friendly. I'm really loving this recent update on the Butterbeer Blonde, which I have not previously purchased. Fabulous compared to the style Shakerato, one of my favorite styles. And this is in the color Cream Soda Blonde, which is unrooted. Clearly the Cream Soda Blonde is warmer. I hope you check out part two of this video where I explore how to deal with these heat-friendly fibers and completely revitalize them to their flowing, unclumpy state of affairs, if you will. The Pike Place tended to become very clumpy from the get-go, so I had to work some magic on those fibers. So stop by for part two and let me show you how you too can be a wig magician. See you there.